Hello viewers, welcome to JSM. Today I am going to explain formation of delta bond. Formation of delta bond. So up to now we know sigma and pi bond. Sigma and pi bond. What is sigma bond? So the axial or linear or head-on overlapping. Okay. So now this is the linear overlapping of atomic orbitals. Linear overlapping of atomic orbitals. So there is a formation of sigma bond. There is a formation of sigma bond. So now this is sigma bond. So now in case of pi bond, so it is a lateral overlapping or parallel overlapping or sideways overlapping. Sideways overlapping. So now this is the formation of pi bond takes place due to parallel overlapping of atomic orbitals. Parallel overlapping of atomic orbitals. So now in case of delta bond, it is a special type of bond only d orbitals only d orbitals except dz square orbital except dz square orbital remaining all d orbitals dxy dyz dzx and dx square minus y square orbitals can form delta bond can form delta bond so now what is a delta bond here i am taking <coughs> dxy orbital dxy orbital dxy orbital so right dxy orbital so another dxy orbital i am taking another dxy orbital i am taking so now okay so now another dxy orbital so now what is a delta bond if all four lobes of if all four lobes of this is a dxy orbital and this is also dxy orbital dxy orbital all four lobes of d orbital can overlap each other all d lobes of d orbital all lobes of d orbital can overlap each other so that is known as what delta bond delta bond so now this is a first lobe and this is a second lobe okay so now here also same so now this is a third lobe and this is a fourth lobe so all four lobes of d orbital can overlap each other can overlap each other so that is known as what delta bond that is known as what delta bond so now in a schematic diagram for example here it is a okay so here it is a orbital i am taking okay so now here also orbital here also orbitals i am taking so that is dxy or dyx dzx whatever it may be so now lobes so now this is a overlapping first lobe and it is also overlapping of a second lobe and now it is the overlapping of third lobe and it is the overlapping of fourth lobe fourth lobe so now this is the formation of delta bond formation of delta bond here one more important thing is so now what i said except dz square except dz square so now i am writing here dz square orbital dz square orbital so now this is the dz square orbital so this is the nucleus and it is the electron cloud density so now this is the dz square orbital dz square orbital so now this is the dz square orbital dz square orbital can only form can only form sigma bond only can only form sigma bond only because axial overlapping due to axial overlapping dz square orbital can only form sigma bond sigma bond so now this is the formation of delta bond formation of delta bond